What's up guys, it's Trevor with High Desert Tactical and I've been getting a lot of questions on my Rode Video Mic Tips and Tricks video. A lot of people have questions about the hissing that they get when they're running the microphone directly into their camera. Especially, a lot of people have been around their questions around the Canon T5i, which I'm using right now. And you guys can actually hear that white noise, that hissing. And I'm gonna give you some some tricks and stuff on how you can make your video, the audio of your video, go from sounding like this to this. You can tell the white noise is still there a little bit, that hissing sound, but it's not as bad. Also, the voice amplification and the audio quality is a lot better and it's not peaking as much and you're getting less distortion. These are through some simple settings through the Canon T5i and a lot of these settings are applicable to other cameras that have similar features as the Canon does. So you might want to be able to apply this to other cameras if you know what you're doing. I'm also going to show you some settings on the actual video mic. Also, if you want to go from this sound to even a cleaner and more richer sound like this, this is basically cleaned up audio that I run through a program called Audacity and I'll give you some tips on how to actually run your camera audio that you've recorded through the video mic and run it through Audacity and clean it up and then reconnect it or resync it with your video. So stay tuned, we're gonna get going on that and hopefully this video will help you out. Now let's go to the video mic itself. A lot of people don't realize that in the battery compartment, there's actually some switches that change the gain and sensitivity of the microphone. So if you actually remove the battery and check it out, you're going to see two little dip switches right in the compartment. With certain settings, you can have 0 dB, negative dB, 10 dB, or negative 20 dB. If you go with the negative 10 or 20, that's going to limit the output of the microphone, so it's going to be less sensitive, and that should help clean up some audio as well. Now this is the big part, the Canon, the settings on the camera. So the Canon T5i, hit menu, then go to the settings where sound recording is available. Select that. You'll see where it says sound record, but then the RTA with the mic on, you'll see that the RTA is just, just going, and there's nothing really going on. I'm just being completely quiet. You'll see it going crazy. Hit sound record and select manual. Don't have it in auto. Now you'll see that record level is actually available. You can tune this to whatever liking you want. And this is also going to limit that white noise the less you go. If you look, the RTA is actually quieted down. It's still got a little bit of action because it is picking up stuff. Go to the wind filter and attenuator option. Select the attenuator and hit enable. That's going to also limit the gains even more to get rid of that white noise especially. You're going to notice the microphone is quieter, but that's going to really help things because you can actually bump up the audio in your sound editor or even in your video editor. In some cases, you want to actually create a really good video with great audio. Great audio always makes a video look and sound and just be a ton better. So you got to have a little bit of pre-planning for when you shoot your videos. The main thing is, is you want to get yourself a good 6 to 10 second gap of ambient noise around you. That way, when you import the audio from your video into Audacity, it has a good idea of where to eliminate noises that are unneeded. So when you start filming, the first thing you want to do is just start rolling the camera, recording the audio, and then sit for 6 to 10 seconds. Then you can start recording your video and recording your audio that way. Now you have a good baseline to import into Audacity. So let's figure this out, what we're about to do. So I'm working in Adobe Premiere Elements right here. It's actually called, yeah, Premiere Elements 12. This is actually a really easy editor that I like to use. I do use Premiere Pro when I have to do heavier editing projects, but this one's really simple and fast. If you use a different editor, you're going to have to understand the background of how it works, but the concept should be able to transfer over as long as you have some basic editing skills. So I have the clip already imported. We're going to actually use this one that just played. 
I'm going to go to publish share. And right here, I'm going to hit computer because I know where it goes. It gives you options of like what kind of file formats you want to uh, export your video as. I'm going to select audio and then I use MP3 high quality. And then I'm going to name this puppy. So Mike temp temp edit and then I'm gonna hit save and it should go pretty quick because of what we're doing so now this has been saved and I'm gonna take it over to my audacity program the asset audacity download link will be down below in the description of this video so you can get it you're gonna need to learn how to use it because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you basically a crash course on it so I already have it open this is my audacity program I'm gonna go to where I know my file was saved so mic temp edits right here so you can either like hit file open or import or whatever but I just grab it and drag it over into audacity and then audacity brings it in so here's basically what it'll sound like in some cases you want to actually create a really good video which is pretty good that way but here let's listen to the white noise part where I actually give the the empty spot so we can get a baseline for the ambient noise to 10 seconds so take note of the rta right here running like you can actually hear then it. you can start recording your video okay. and re so listen you can then hear you can that white recording. noise so you hear the white noise so what you're going to do is you're going to actually make sure that you're stopped playing you're going to select this empty spot and I always leave a generous empty spot between where the audio starts and ends. You're going to go to effect. You're going to go to noise reduction. And then this is all default right here. But we're going to hit get noise profile. It doesn't take but a second to do that. Then on your file, you're going to select it all by double clicking. You can actually highlight specific parts if you need to by clicking and holding. But if you double click, it's going to highlight the whole process. Go back to effect and hit noise reduction or repeat noise reduction. It's going to do its thing. So now let's listen to that empty spot of white noise again. Six to 10 seconds. Then you can start recording. Your so did you notice that, that the white noise is pretty much gone and the RTA is gone or the, at least the RTA's reading is gone too. So that shows you that it really did clean that up. Now, if you want to take it to a step further, we can clean this up a little bit nicer as well. Go to Effect, then go to Normalize. Normalize is going to change all the audio, like the peaks and valleys. See, so it's peaking right here, and there's peaking right here. So it's going to normalize a lot of that to be able to get where there's peaking. It's going to clean that up. So hit Normalize. This is all default. Hit OK. See how it dropped things down a little bit and cleaned it up a little bit. So let's hear it rolling the camera recording audio and then sit for six to ten seconds this probably isn't the best example but it's gonna help you and you're gonna have to tweak things to make it sound better as well now if you want to get a richer sound because like let's listen to it you're gonna hear that it's still kind of hollow and tinny great audio great audio always makes a video look and sound not by much but enough to like you know if you're really picky you can hear it go back to effect and go to equalization so here's your settings. Now take a note, screen, screenshot this if you need to. This is my settings. This is going to basically be the low end and the high end. So the, the more this goes up, the more the bass sounds. The further over you go, the lower the frequencies you're going to be boosting. So I'm going to try to stick around a little below 100 hertz. I think I'm like at about 80 hertz. And I have it running at plus 12 dB. And then I have this guy running at about 6 dB, and I'm a little between like 40, like, I don't know. I can't even, I'm a, I'm a little below 1,000 hertz. So that's going to change how this audio file sounds. It's going to richen everything up. So check it out. So it boosted it up. Now, other files, how big they are, it takes longer to do. So let's listen to it one more time. Go with great audio. Great audio always makes a video look and sound and just be a ton Okay, so did you notice that it went from kind of a hollow tinny noise to a little bit richer and bassier? It's not perfect, but it's going to really help you. So now we're done with this. I think it's perfect. So let's go to File, Export Audio, 
And then you will have to get a plugin to change it so it'll save it as an MP3, but it does automatically do it as a wave. And if you don't know what these files are that I'm talking about, you're going to need to learn about it in order to do what we're doing in this video. So temp edit, hit save. It obviously says that it already exists and you want to replace it. I'm going to say yes because it's what I want. You don't have to. Just rename it if you need to. Hit OK. So it's going to do its thing here. OK. So now we're going to go back to my video editor. So here's my video editor. I'm going to go back to my file. So here, I'll refresh this. So there's the file that we, the mic temp edit that we uh, redid. So I'm going to put drag it into my editor. So let's listen to this. <laughs> you shoot your videos the main thing is is you want to get yourself a still hollow it's got a little bit of white noise so listen to the quiet part see so, so you can hear the white noise now I'm gonna delete the audio off this video and I'm gonna drag my redone file over it now let's listen to it in some cases, you want to actually create a really good video with great audio. Great audio always makes a video. It's a little more boomier than I need, so I actually would change this if I was doing a final product. But it's good for you guys to listen. So let's hear the white noise area. This is the main thing everybody's after. For 6 to 10 seconds. Then you can start recording your... So now you notice the white noise and the hissing is gone. So this is a couple ways you can actually clean this up and get your audio to sound even better. I hope this helped you guys out. If you have any questions, leave those questions down below in this video and I will try to answer them as best as I can. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up or even a thumbs down. Any kind of feedback always helps me. And also, if you want to see more videos like this, let me know by hitting the subscribe button. Other than that, you guys take care and be safe.